These are works by Tiffany Chung. Tiffany is one of Vietnam's most established female contemporary artists with a strong international exhibition history. She's based in Ho Chi Minh City, originally born in Da Nang, and this body of work looks to this idea of the promised land, the idea of living in an Asian metropolis that has seemingly little considered forethought for the direction in which it is moving. This critical perspective comes from her work that she has done in many Asian cities, in Seoul, in Tokyo, in Bangkok, and of course in her current home city of Ho Chi Minh. In watching the way in which the youth community absorb consumer life and the way in which they turn a blind eye to the past or morph ideas of the past into new kinds of languages. These phenomena are quite fascinating to Tiffany in her complete practice which spans photography, installation, sculpture, drawing and increasingly in the moving image. In this work we see a map of 1867 of Ho Chi Minh overlaid with a map of 2007 in Saigon. The historical map is the decoration, the coloured swirls we see in the background. The black track marks refer to the subway lines that are to be built by the Japanese. This contrast of time and colour and this seeming lack of order is the kind of energy that Tiffany celebrates but is also somewhat critical and this criticality can be seen in the sculptural piece that we see resting on the floor where this puddle of red has this gleaming white series of animals fleeing if you like across this great expanse and it refers to the very well-known fable of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea in search of the promised land these figures are reflected off this, this red, highly reflective surface. And the reflection of themselves back into this pool is, is what Tiffany is trying to, to elucidate, that in order to find the promised land, we have to look within ourselves. The direction in which these animals move across this red puddle is towards no real certain known. And it is this uncertainty that Tiffany and her entire body of work seeks to evoke. How do we provide the answers to our most inner questions of belonging to a certain place in a certain time?